When we're working in Fusion 360, we can use the power of parametric modeling to change our designs after we've finished, and our model should update automatically. But sometimes we create errors. For example, if I want to add a fillet to the base of this box, I can activate that component, orbit around so I can see the corner, select the fillet tool, select that edge, type in a four millimeter radius, activate the top level assembly, and everything updates fine. This is even ready to be cut out on the laser cutter in my toolpath layout. Let's continue to edit this model. If I activate the base again, and I right click on the sketch and I edit the sketch, I can zoom in, press L for the line tool, and let's say I wanna chop off this corner for my design, and then I use the trim tool to remove these two sketch edges. Then I finish my sketch. Now I have this screaming red around the fillet. If I activate the main assembly, now I have a yellow warning and a red error. Warnings are just that, they're warnings, meaning that the model still works, but the reference to that geometry is gone. Red is catastrophic, meaning it's not in the model anymore. When you fix errors in Fusion, you wanna roll your playhead back in the timeline to the very first error. That's because errors will cascade and sometimes fixing earlier errors will automatically fix later errors. Right click on the error and you can review the warning. Here it says the projection is lost. So we need to fix that. We can close the warning box. Then we can right click on the feature and select manage lost projections. It gives us a menu of the different projections that are lost. So let's go ahead and click face one. Then we have three options. We can relink it, we can break the link, or we can delete the geometry. In this case, I wanna relink it. So I'll click relink. I'll orbit so I can see another suitable face. Even though this face is different, it still has the same projection geometry. So I'll click it. I get a green check mark and I'll press okay. And I'll finish my sketch. Now I can roll the playhead all the way up to the fillet and everything updates. I have no warning so far, and I have this updated profile on my toolpath. But now let's see how can I fix this error. Roll the playhead one past the error. Let's activate the base. There's the red. And now I need to edit the feature. The reason I need to edit it is because there's nothing left. No reference to this exists. So I can either choose to keep the feature and change its reference or delete the feature. In this case, I'm going to isolate the base Edit the feature, select this edge and this edge, and then I'll type in a two millimeter fillet. I'll press okay. It updates that. I can now unisolate the base. Then I can activate the top component. And now I have no errors in my timeline and my model has completely updated. So you can make many changes to your model in Fusion 360 you just have to pay attention to the errors and fix them as you go. With a little bit of an examination of your errors, most of them can be fixed and then your model will be very robust.